Hello and welcome to my channel. This is going to be um, a, an experiment video. So I do hope that you watch to the end. i um, doing two different recipes for the pearl. Um, I've tried a couple different recipes and they just don't seem to work for me. So I thought, you know what, what the heck, I'm going to do my own experiment and figure it out myself instead of trying to follow what other people are doing. Um, the first recipe calls for deco art and artist loft white. So it's just 50, 50, half and half. Um, and then what I do is I add, um, one part Liquitex pore medium and one part GAC, um, 800. And then I, I mix and I add the water. Now adding water is extremely important for both recipes um, because you want to make sure that the base paint is thin. Um, I was just showing you that I'm doing this on the 8x8 canvas. Um, so here I am. I'm just going to pour um, half an ounce of the deco art and half an ounce of the artist loft. And just so you know, the mushroom cups I get are from Amazon. So here I am just showing you half an ounce of the deco art. Now I'm going to go in with the artist loft and do half an ounce. So it will be a full one ounce. And I'm not doing a large recipe just because I am using an 8 by 8 And it's not going to need much paint at all. But um, so you do half and half and then you're going to mix it. And then I'm, I'm going to add the GAC 800 and the Artist Loft Pouring Medium. Now, I do have the Gloss Liquitex Pouring Medium. I don't think it matters on which one. It's just the one that I have. Um, but I do use both because both help bind the colors. They're binders and... Um, the GAC 800 actually, I, I feel, uh, makes the pearl cells a little bit um, more clear. And then I'm going to be using the floor troll on top of that. So um, that was the GAC 800 that I just put in. And now I'm going to be adding the Liquitex pouring medium. And I'm just doing one part of the GAC 800 and one part of Liquitex Pore Medium. So I'm literally just putting a little bit of each in and then um, mixing it and then I'll be adding the floor troll. As you could tell, it wasn't very much. Now I do mix them and then I'm going to be adding the floor troll. Now when you're adding floor troll, you always want to make sure that you are using a strainer. Um, I get my paper strainers from Amazon. I prefer using the paper strainers so I can throw them away when I'm done. It's probably not the best for the environment, but... Um, I have bought the other one, the metal one, and I just, I hate cleaning it. Oh my gosh. It's just so much easier to pour into this and then throw it away when I'm done. But it helps get all the gunk out so that you're just using it. Now with the floor troll, as you can tell, there's a lot in there. So I'm putting about two ounces of the floor troll. So, um... So two two ounces to the one ounce of 
the deco art and artist loft so half an ounce for artist loft half an ounce deco art two ounces of the floor troll and i did about i'd say about three-fourths of an ounce of the gac 800 and the liquitex pore medium um now as you i i do a lot of stirring you want to make sure you stir you know get to the bottom and the edges now you're going to see me put this into a bigger cup because i end up running out of room and i didn't realize how much extra it's amazing how much is in this cup when you just started with just a half an ounce of each paint um and this is why you don't need very much of the paint now you're going to start seeing me put the distilled water in um, I just do a little bit at a time, but the distilled water is very important. The reason why is because you want your base paint to be super thin. You do not, it's sort of like a milk base. You do not want a thick base. Um, you want it to be thin because we're going to pour onto the canvas, but then we're also going to pour most of it off because you want a super thin thin layer you don't want too much on there so um i'm just mixing and adding a little bit of water at a time again you want that milk consistency i don't end up using the whole cup for of course an eight by eight canvas um so i was able to save the other half for a different experiment that I realized did not get on to video and that was for the shadow experiment I wanted to see what the difference was between the two on doing a shadow pearl recipe so and really the only difference between the two recipes is the pearl recipe here you're using it as a base paint and then you're adding your colors on top and and um, stretching the color the shadow instead you're putting your colors on first then you're pouring your your pearl recipe on top and stretching it out to real thin that's really the only difference it's the same ingredient same recipe just they're both done a, a little bit differently but um, I, here I am, I'm just mixing and I'm trying to get the uh, consistency correct. And then I'm going to be pouring onto the canvas. Uh, for the colors um, that you'll see me mix in a few moments, they're all from Golden. Um, you can use any colors you want. Um, and the way I did my colors is for troll and... Um, and water now the first two colors I ended up just doing the Liquitex and the GAC 800 and because I'm using Golden's um, gosh I need to do better on the camera I, so sorry about that but that's um, burnt umber I'm doing um, the Golden is pretty thin so you don't really need much now again like I stated I forgot to put the floor troll in the first two colors it's very very important when you're doing the pearls to have floor troll in your colors because I noticed that on the two first two colors I did the pearls did not show up on uh, where those colors were on the canvas um, but on the second color you'll see that I end up actually getting pearls because I use floor troll and I truly believe that floor troll is a secret ingredient in the colors as well that is definitely needed so 
So again, you're just seeing me put a little bit of the Liquitex and the GAC 800 and stirring. Again, this one in the next color, you'll notice when I do pour on a canvas, there's not many pearls that show up where those colors are. So that definitely gate, let me know that I need to put floor troll in. And I'm sorry about the mess on my table. I um, basically do all of this in my guest bedroom and it's very small. I don't have very much room, um, which drives me crazy. And every time I try to get something off the shelf, I'm dropping things. There's so much that happens behind the scenes that I cut out because, um, yeah, it's just a hot mess. <laughs> it drives me crazy. My next color I'm going to be doing is from Artist Loft. It's crimson. And um, I'm just putting a little bit into the cup. A little squirt. This is a lot thicker paint. So I am going to be doing that with the Liquitex pouring medium first. Then I, I mix that. And then I add the floor troll in, into it. I did not, in the last cup, did not put any GAC 800. Um, for some reason, I cut it out, but the um, I did this color with the GAC 800, and it turned it really pink, and I did not like that. So I ended up starting over and just using Liquitex and Floor Troll. Um, and then a little bit of water, of course, because this is a lot thicker. It's not like the golden um, where it was super thin. Because it's such a thick paint, I had to thin it out. So I'm adding, um, again, floor troll, you do want to make sure you're straining it, um, like you saw me earlier, just because there's always going to be some kind of gunk. It has a tendency of doing that. So um, basically adding just one part floor troll, just as much as there is paint in there, and the rest is distilled water, and I just keep stirring and thinning it till there's not much left or until it's super thin. There I am just adding the distilled water and again just um, mixing until I have the consistency of milk. I'm going to put some music on for a little bit. You're going to see me pour this onto the canvas and stretch it. Enjoy and I'll be back.
So here is the second part of the experiment. I'm using the Bayer 7300. Um, it's untinted. Um, so basically, the only difference in the recipes is the Bayer versus Deco Art. It's the only difference. Um, so it's literally um, half Artist Loft. So half an ounce of Artist Loft and half an ounce of the Bayer 7300 mixing just like I did with the other recipe then I will be adding the GAC 800 the Liquitex pouring medium and then water again the distilled water is very important because you do have to thin these base paints out if you do not um, the pearls will not show up I've tried this recipe many times off camera and does not work out unless it's super thin um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the music back in the colors stay the same um, I will advise though on the burnt umber and the yellow oxide I did add some floral because I noticed that on the lax last experiment the pearls didn't show up where those two colors were so I thought I'm going to see if pearls show up on this next one if I add floral to those two colors which it did and so that totally tells me what needs to be for the ingredients so um, enjoy I will be back towards the end and I will also be showing the dry results of both um, as the dry result was actually a little bit different than the wet result. Um, thank you so much for watching. On the road, headed back to New Orleans, driving in the country past old timey scenes. Big birds were singing in the tall willow tree. Mighty fine. Three words written on the paper bag. I miss you was written in a message in black. Thrown in a van to a thousand miles back. A better time. How many souls and times that I've told the places that I'd want to be And how many days when I could have stayed Instead of just getting up to leave And given we make time Meet you down the line mm. A long coat Walking on a New York street A pack of crushed cigarettes that Fell to her feet Well ain't it odd How some people meet that's the truth And two pictures buried in a guitar case Underneath the music sheets all over the place I caught a glimpse of the sweetest girl's face I ever knew And how many souls Times that I've told the places that had like to be, and how many days when I could have stayed instead of just getting up to leave and giving we make time. I'll meet you down.
Okay, so here is the end results. Um, of course, this is wet, but this is the Bayer um, one. You can tell the cells are very different than the Deco Art. Um, but wait till the dry results because the dry results are totally different than the wet results, especially on the Bayer. It was a little bit shocking of how different the pearls were. Um, but yeah, so here's a close up. I wanted to pour the white line on each one because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like when you pour it on top as well. Um, so big difference between the two. The one on the left, pearls are insane. The white line I put on the left for the deco art, it literally looks like a crazy cloud going through. The one on the right with the bear, the line is more defined. It's not like a cloud, um, but you could tell there's a lot more shadow going around on the outsides. But yeah, so this is the difference. Um, I personally really like the deco art, but I really like the dry results of the bear. Um, you can't really tell it until the next day of what the pearls are going to look like. So here's a close up of that cloud looking. Um, and that was just me pouring white on top of everything. And that's how it spread for the deco art. Those are the pearls. You could tell they're very different than the Bayer side. Um, and you can also see where the pearls did not show up on the two colors that did not have any floor troll. This is the side where all the colors have floor troll and the pearls look totally different. Um, they're more defined um, than deco art side. And uh, yeah, so um, let me show you what the dry results look like. Look like. So here's the dry results of the deco art. Um, the pearls are not as defined, but they're there. The cloud uh, line looks insanely beautiful. It's just crazy. Um, and there's definitely a lot of shadow going on. Now, here is the bear. Um, this dried totally different than what I thought it would. Um, the line that I made is definitely more of a shadow. Um, but the pearls was surprising. So let me know what you prefer in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like, please, and hit the notification. Thank you so much for watching.